Hello, this is a TMS training video uh, for ROM Art and Culture um, to cover packages. So to start off, we will need some objects. So let's do a query assistant. And let's say I wanted to do an exhibition on dolls. Dolls. So I'm going to look for an object. Pressing O, object name, doll. Next. Okay, so let's run that. There are 958 dolls in the ROM collection. So let's have a look at some of them. So there's a number of ways of viewing things. A light box is quite good because that shows you when it finally comes up the images of all of the uh, results of the query um, so it's not a lot here with images but that's life so here's a nice one so to get back to the uh, record we click this one here data entry So this is a nice doll. We look over here, it's in Southwest 03. So this is in the Gallery of Greece. It's uh, in the gallery. So let's say we want to add this. So let's go to Tools. Here, Show Object Package. And you also notice it's Control P. So this is the package it's doing something weird at the moment i don't know why okay and i have to move it down to the area of the screen there you go that might help so let's go to personal and hope it stops doing that annoying thing and let's create a new package okay so here's my new package which i shall call doll x doll exhibition and let's add that item so we now have a list of objects in this package of which the first one is that one so let's go back to the collection let's look back at that query Let's have a now view of a list with images. So here we have a list view with images and we can go through a number of these. Here's a nice one. So let's say we want to look at this one. It's a doll from Japan. And so again, this time I'm going to hit Control P. And that brings up the package. So we're going to add that item. So now we have two of them. So we've got two. I'm going to do a different query now. So let's do again the query assistant. And refine. I want dolls from somewhere particular. And so we can do it by department or geography or anything else. Let's do it by department. Let's say I want all the dolls from West Asian. Next. So let's view. So there's only 12 dolls in West Asian. Let's look at the light box. I'm thinking these might be good to have all of them in my exhibition because they're all flat and they have lots of variability they're just the faces of dolls so maybe I'm going to add them all so if I hit control P I shall add all so that's adding everything from that package I shall say yes 
So now I have all of these and I'm going to have a look at the list I have so far. Execute. So if we now view the light box again, you can see the package now contains all of these. So I might want to go through looking at, see this one's in the gallery, if you look over here. So taking one out of the gallery is fine, but let's go to the end. Okay, this one's in storage. This one's in storage. This one is also in the gallery. So I don't want to take too much out of the gallery and I'm getting all of these. So I need to go to the package again. And so this number, 931.64.11, this one, which is number 12 in this list of 14, 12 or 14, I will actually remove from the list. Okay, so now I have modified this list and it's possible I would be able to get this list by doing anything other than taking things away and adding things while going through a number of queries. So this is the list for my exhibition. Of course, if it's a real exhibition, I'll get more dolls, but you know what I'm saying. So here is the query. Here, here's the package, rather. And I, I can do things like change the order and save the order. All sorts of messing around you can do here. And also at this end, there are notes, and the notes are specific. If I do this, I'm going to up here, the notes are specific to this package. So maybe I'll say something specific to this package. So this will disappear. It's not a part of the record. It's just a relationship between the package and the object. And so I might want to say, you know, assemblage of dolls. Okay. And I hit Control S to save all this. Okay, I shall refresh it all. And so here's the note. And so you might want to put in notes about why it's in this position in the package. Now there are a couple of things you might want to do with this package. One, see this is in my personal folder. You might want to put it into your favorites. I'll show you why in a second. So here are some favorites. I don't know why I have so many favorites, but I apparently do. So what you want to do is then add this to favorites. Favorite. So there it is in favorites. It's uh, it's not actually here. So if you go into this and change it, you're actually changing this one here. Okay. So if we get out of this and we go back to the main menu and you click on this, there is this. Now, unfortunately, this the only way you can get into packages is either you already have a favorite group of favorite package or you go to an object and then call up packages. So from here, since I favorited that one, I just need to look for the doll package. You see? So it, because it's in favorites, there it is. And here we go. Now, say I want to share this with other people. Now, if we close this, and close that. You can see there are all of these other folders of packages here, and these are all to share with people. So if I create a new folder, now a public folder is shared with everybody in the museum, and I can't imagine any circumstance where most people will be needing to make a public folder. If you want 
to share it, you just make a shared folder and you add people to it. So here is the shared folder. I'm going to call this the doll exhibition. Okay, doll exhibition folder. And since it's time to move this along, I'm going to cut this package and paste it here. So now if I open the folder, you can see the doll exhibitions moved here. So I go to the folder. This is where I go to the properties and go to permissions. So at the moment, only I have permission to mess with this. So I want to add people. So say I am creating a, a doll exhibition with uh, a curator. It might take some time to fold. Say, let's say Fahmida Suleiman, the Islamic curator, and move over here. So you can get all sorts of, say, Cheryl Copson, the technician for West Asian, Craig Cipola. So now all of these people, I say OK, will find that package is in their packages. And so when they go into packages, if we go down to doll exhibition folder, we'll be able to go to the doll exhibition package and see anything. It's in there. They can modify it, they can add to it, they can subtract to it, providing I've given them permissions to do that. So that is the function of packages. Uh, you can do all sorts of things with this. Uh, you can create packages of things you're trying to put online, for instance, based on a query, and uh, remove them as you put them online. Um, you might want to create a package of things you have put online, so you're keeping a a running count of them. So there's all sorts of reasons why you'd want to have a package entirely arbitrarily decided what it's for and what is in it and makes it very easy to share a group of objects with somebody else. Um, I think that's it for packages for now. Thank you.